Hi guys, it's Lisa from ToPlanAWebsite.com. That actually sounds kind of funny saying to plan a website. I'm so used to to create a website. So if you're on this site, welcome. And you're probably wondering um, why in the world would you create to plan a website after having to create a website? Isn't that kind of backward? And why didn't you just add this information to to create a website? Well, I didn't do that because of you. And I say that very playfully, but it's true. Um, I've noticed from the questions that I get from to create a website that people are in a hurry. They're in a rush. They don't read. And I, I don't mean that in a in a disrespectful way, but it's it's true. I do the same thing. You know how you get focused on something and you want it done. Your your instinct is to just get it done as quickly as possible, rush through it, you know. And that's what happens with to create. People find my site and they go, "Oh, this is a great site. I want to get started. Where do I go?" So they go to the register the domain page. They go to the hosting page. They sign up and they don't read, you know, the preliminary information. So that's why I put this information on to plan a website. I wanted it to be completely separate from to create a website. And if you notice on to plan a website, there's not a lot of banners, and I, I try to limit the affiliate links and outlinks as much as I could. Now there are some on there. I've, you know, I've got to to uh, earn a living, so <laughs> there are some affiliate links throughout the site, but I really try to keep the information um, focused so you don't have to click around and go here, go there. I want people to focus on the pre-planning stages of building a website because I know from owning to create a website that so many people make mistakes and they, they because they rush. And even though to create a website's content is primarily uh, content about what you do after you have your site, you know, how to, you know, add a, uh, you know, add a blog or how to get traffic, all these things that you may think about after your site is live. I realize that the majority of the questions, though, are from people who just have questions about how much a site costs, um, what type of experience do they need to get started, all of the pre-planning questions. So I decided to create a separate site that you know because if I put that on to create I was afraid that people would get um, sidetracked they would say oh yeah there's the pre planning I don't need to read that I already know what topic I want let me just get started well and that's that's what I don't want you to do so many people come to the table thinking they want to create a website they have the perfect idea but once they start they realize gosh maybe I should have thought about this a little bit more so that's why everything on to plan a website that's why I wanted to separate it completely from to create a website to try to get people to read before they start and, and I realize some people just aren't going to read and if you don't like to read a lot of content I can understand I'm gonna try to put as many videos on this as I can because I know um, I do tend to be a little bit um, wordy and I do write a lot so I'll try to break up the content as much as I can with my videos and hopefully that will help you out but I really encourage you to spend some time on to plan a website it's, it's not nearly as big right now as to create a website so it's, a, it's hopefully a pretty quick read but definitely make sure you, you browse through this, especially if you, you haven't started or you're maybe a little bit confused about some things. But really, really, really focus in on those, the articles that I have on choosing your topic and, and understanding how the web works. Because I really do think people jump into this without a clear understanding with how the web works, particularly the people that have ideas to create very large, complex sites or people who want to create online stores without really understanding what they're getting into by creating a store. And I, I really encourage you to read that article under my mistakes section because um, I wrote those articles on based on um, conversations that I've had with other people who have failed online or who have said, Lisa, you know, I really wish I had taken some time before I decided to create my store or before I decided to create this site like MySpace or YouTube because I didn't realize, you know, a lot, a lot that was involved and I should have really considered how websites build traffic before I jumped into this. So take some time, please, to read this site. Don't rush. You know, the web's not going anywhere. It's much better to take your time and really understand what you're getting into, understand how the web works, understand how Google works before you just jump into this. 
So enjoy my site and um, make sure you subscribe to my new YouTube channel. I have a separate YouTube channel for this site. It's youtube.com slash to plan a website. So make sure you go there and subscribe because you'll get a notification anytime I add a new video. And um, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.